Hello, as always, this is not a review. It's just me looking at a thing and talking about it. And this is a Gundam. This is 100% a Gundam official from the Gundam universe. If you're not familiar with it, this is a thing called Bear Guy or Bear G Guy. It, it's usually pronounced Bear Guy, but there's an extra G in there. And it came out of the fantastic and rather deep and complex uh, series of series called Gundam Build. There's all whole, there are a whole bunch of Gundam Builds. This is from from the very beginning or very near the beginning of the saga of Gundam Build series, where one character in you know, in that universe uh, built themselves a custom Gundam that was a teddy bear. What I didn't know about this before I got it is that it is ninety percent based on an existing, actually decently well known original mobile suit gundam zionic uh, suit called ak guy i could tell that it was inspired by ak guy but i personally don't I really should have uh, uh panel line under here but i'm, I'm never going to be displaying it from the side except right now in this video and that's that's just the end of it I, i'm not that much of a fan of zionic uh suits the old especially aquatic things and all the round things and, and just a lot of them are just really really funky to me <laughs> but as I was building this, uh, one of the sprues I realized had like uh, almost a whole act guy head on it. And then I looked at it more and then I looked up the pictures and realized, that, yeah, this is 100% act guy, A-C-C-G-U-I, with a different head on it and then a backpack. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Look, it's even got a mono eye and you can move the mono eye. <laughs> it actually slides in a, in a trough up and down. It has decent articulation. It's a pretty decent sized thing. It's uh, larger than a typical 144th scale uh, Gundam. And uh, it's it's that. Now for finishing this one, just for a little bit of something, something, I did a tiny bit of panel lining, mostly using brown. But most importantly, I used a matte, I mean matte finish for one of the sprues. I think I used matte for one and did I do satin? For the other, no, I think I left, I think I left the darker brown or the, the regular brown color plastic because I kind of wanted it to look a little bit toy-like for a change. I usually don't like that look, but here I did. I need to work on that right there. It, the stress mark was in the plastic already when I received the, the kit. Had I painted it, you know, I would have dealt with that. Could probably could touch this up a little bit. Obviously use black right there, but just in general, this is, this is what it is. <laughs> Did the uh, panel lining or you know ink in just a little bit on the the recorder here? The backpack technically can be open, but it's like it's it's not a flap. It you have to kind of disassemble it a little bit. Stand is not included. I just put it on the stand because I wanted to have it in a nice, very cheery, jumping kind of look where it would be well well up above the ground. You've got articulation, double articulation in the in the knee for this. Like it's actually pretty well articulated for for what it is. Uh, I'm not as I always say I. I don't like to mess with the poses of my kits when I'm doing these videos because it's I've already set the pose where I want it to be, but I wanted you to see that there is a neck under there as well. I just put a little lining in that. Obviously, these are lined in as well, but you, know, you get some articulation there. Uh, some of the pivot points are well inside the body of this thing, which just which just makes it feel interesting when you when you put your hands on it when you move stuff around. It, it just has a lot of depth to the to the motion mechanisms in general. Only a little bit side to side. Comes with three different stickers that you can use for different styles for the eyes, or you can just leave those stickers off. And then it's just black underneath. I should probably add just a little bit of brown, just a touch of brown right there with a little ultra fine. I could probably do something around the edges or the tips right here. It does also come with all the extensions for an arm. So you can do the gao gao gadget arm. <sighs> keeps going, keeps going, keeps going thing with this. You can add, 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 and have a super long arm that's doing a, doing a punch. Or like a, like a dalsam punch for folks familiar with, with Street Fighter. This thing is cool. <laughs> I like it. I'm happy to have gotten an original one. And I'm also going to be picking up a Bear Guy 3. Actually, no, I've already picked up a Bear Guy 3, but I want to do something just a little bit different with the with the paint job for that one so i'll be showing that one once it's once it's done one which will be after i get my painting setup done as well but oh yeah the ears can also be rotated with they've done this you can turn them down which kind of 
change, I don't know, change this expression. And one last little thing, which I didn't expect at all, the mouth opens. Had I known that, I would have tried to paint that in, put black behind there, and then just done the, the teeth in white. I still might do that after the fact. It's kind of a kind of a cool extra little thing to have a, a roaring, roaring kind of look to it. And again, here with the the articulation point, the the pivot is well back behind there. Uh, there we go. Which is cool. It's just it's just different. It has a, an interesting tactile feel to it. Everything about this has an interesting tactile feel. I think especially if you do some some matte on it. But that's just my personal opinion. And yeah, I'm happy with this thing. Look forward to doing more interesting, different Gundam universe things because that's what I'm all about. With a focus on one one hundredth scale, this is kind of a kind of a no scale thing. Technically, I call it an, a modern HG, but you know, it's super huge for a 144 and all, but yeah, I just like it. I'm happy with it. Happy with the variation and looking forward. <laughs> it's such a silly thing. Looking forward to doing more silly stuff as well as serious stuff in the future. Thank you very much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.